One of the biggest mistakes I made in the first five years of trying to look and get fit was the fact that I forgot that health is really the foundation of it. A lot of people may look fit, but they never sustain it. They're getting sick all the time. They're not performing very well. Their energy is very low. It, it ultimately defeats the purpose of getting fit and looking fit in the first place. So in this video, I wanna cover how ever since I made certain changes that I'm gonna go through with you in this video, uh, I haven't been sick in over five years and my immune system is higher and more boosted than it's ever been and a lot of others around me that have applied the same principles have done the same for themselves making sure that they ward off sickness or avoid it altogether even cure themselves of certain illnesses and diseases so in this video though it's a little different from what I usually cover it is still an important aspect of your health your fitness feeling better and looking better so we're gonna talk about exactly how to boost your immune system naturally which unfortunately is not a very popular topic these days John Mango helping you get leaner, stronger, and more energized so you can boost your confidence and reach your potential. Real quick, I'm gonna provide some background before we dive into the certain tips and things that I go through in this video. So how do I know that this stuff works? Well, like I mentioned in the introduction of the video, even though I'm only 26 years old, people might think that it's because of my age that it's easy to say, oh, you know, just fight off sickness and ward it off and you know, you got a strong immune system, etc. But that's not the case whatsoever. In fact, age has very little to do with it because about six years ago, between the ages of let's say 16 and 20, even up to 22 years old, I was actually getting sick very, very often, sometimes almost fatally sick. And I was still working out at the time. So it doesn't have to do with just age, being a male, whatever else, working out. That's not the case. Instead, it's certain foundational things as well as some extra tweaks and tips I'm going to provide to you in this video that when I started making those shifts on a foundational level and I stopped Stop just thinking that health and fitness and looking great just comes down to a certain exercise and workout or eating a certain food at a certain time. Things really started changing for me because it's one thing to try and get fit, but if you've got all these foundational things out of whack, you're constantly stressed, your immune system's down, then it's gonna be very difficult to get in shape if you're constantly getting sick because it's gonna keep pulling you back, back to square one. I see this all the time, unfortunately, with a lot of individuals who they are on their path to getting in better shape, getting healthier, but unfortunately, because they haven't fixed a lot of the foundational issues that they've been dealing with for a long time, they constantly get sick or they get some sort of illness, disease, they gotta suddenly do some sort of surgery for something that came up. All of these things that ultimately hold your fitness results back anyways. I'll give you an idea as to why I was constantly getting sick. My sleep habits were way out of whack. I was drinking alcohol excessively multiple times per week. I'm sure it's unsurprising that if you're drinking or consuming any form of drugs, alcohol, anything that's destructive to the body, you're going to be susceptible to illness, disease, sickness, uh, constant little things, colds, you know, allergies, all of these things that are easily triggered when your immune system is weakened. At the time, I would always pop Advils mixed with caffeine often, so you know, I still had the energy to go to the gym because all I cared about was the looks rather than the feel. So even at some of the times where I was looking decent, I felt the worst I ever did. And again, I would get so sick sometimes that I literally lose tens of pounds of even pure muscle. I remember one time I got the flu and strep throat at the same time. And this came after a barrage of months of trying to recover from previous illnesses. All of my younger life, I had been plagued with illnesses left, right, and center. And I never really made the connection as to why that that was until one time I finally got Got so ill that it scared me into doing what I do now to prevent illness and disease and I realized how simple it really is and just to break that down real quick I've mentioned this in the past but basically I started going several days consecutively weeks and then eventually about eight months of sleeping only four hours per night I was still drinking I was still partying and I was working up to 70 to 100 hours per week so I was hardly sleeping and I thought I could just power through 
through it. I thought I felt okay. I had never done this before. So I started getting accustomed to it and I convinced myself that I'm totally fine, no problem whatsoever, until suddenly I started getting some serious chest pains right in my the area where my heart is, out of nowhere, out of the blue one morning. I started fainting and passing out randomly throughout the day. So I was always on edge. I'd be driving sometimes and all of a sudden I had that feeling that I had to pass out. I would pull over on the curb and wait for it to subside. I'd be training clients in person and they would have no idea. I would sit down in the middle of one of their sets and try not to pass out and, and play it off like I was okay and keep going. Eventually this led to me passing out, going to the doctors, passing out there as well. And I had some serious issues that took me months to recover from, okay? I felt like I was dying. I ended up having to take off a ton of work time. I basically couldn't work for a while. All of these things, my hair started falling out rapidly. It was not a good situation. So it's because of that that I wanna share this message with you because ever since then I made some changes that had I just done sooner, I could have avoided that altogether. So without blabbering on any more about my own personal background and why it might be a good idea to listen to me, keep in mind I am not a health professional, I'm not a doctor, anything along those lines. Um, so obviously, speaking to your doctor before in partaking in some of these habits, right? Or some of these things that I mentioned. And lastly, before we dive in, I know last thing, I just wanna mention that these past five plus years that I haven't been sick, that's with taking absolutely zero medication, not even Advil, aspirin, any of that stuff, completely gone, no medication, just pure natural immune system. Okay, let's dive into the about six things that I wanna talk about. The very first one is, I kind of already mentioned it, sleep, sleep is king. So if you're sleeping under seven hours per night on a consecutive daily basis over the average of weeks, months, etc., then you're putting yourself in a very, very bad position, especially when it comes to the immune system, okay? The immune system needs that constant sleep to repair itself, to help repair the tissues in the body. So especially if you're working out, that's gonna take a lot of energy for your body to recover. And if you're not sleeping enough to recover that, then your immune system's also taking a hit on the flip side. So sleep is is the most important habit by a mile. It doesn't really matter what else you're doing. You can do everything else perfectly, but if your sleep is not in line, it's pretty much impossible to do everything else perfectly because you're gonna be groggy, you're not gonna have clear focus, your mood's gonna be off, your hormones aren't gonna be balanced, and really, if your hormones aren't balanced, then everything else is gonna be an uphill battle. I know that there's some situations where maybe it's difficult to get up to seven to nine hours of sleep, maybe you're a busy mom, maybe you're an emergency nurse or a doctor, or or whatever the case is, maybe you're a high-powered CEO, maybe you're a lawyer, maybe it's something where you require every now and then you're on call or whatever the case is, where you can't get that sleep in. The point is, is look to see how you can get some more sleep in, whether it means taking naps, whether it means getting a consistent wake-up time or a go-to-bed time, whatever you do have control over when it comes to sleep, try to do that because I guarantee you, if you think sleeping less makes you more productive, that's the exact almost fatal mistake I and many others have made Made, and I hope that you stop making that mistake. The second thing is going to be water. Now, these two things are the fundamental habits that I talk about all the time. Water, if you're drinking less than two liters per day, it's not looking too good, okay? The vast majority of our body is made up of water. Water is the essence of all life on this planet. It's just vital, okay? And I'm not talking about just liquids, like, oh, you know, I drink some iced coffees and I drink some pop, diet pop though, so it's not so bad. No, this stuff doesn't count. It has to be plain water. That's another thing. Oh, can I flavor my water? No, just drink it plain. You were born in a world where this is natural and you're supposed to drink, you're supposed to enjoy it because if you didn't, you would die. Drink plain water and aim for, I generally have a guideline of about three liters of water per day day. So if you're not there yet, it's no worries. You can slowly work your way up. I've got another video touching on how you can get more water. I'll probably make a new one coming soon, but basically getting a big liter bottle like this helps. Chug one first thing in the morning, have one in the middle of the day, one at night, whatever it is to help you track and see how much water you're intaking and what you need to do to get it up to a better amount. See hydration or dehydration, I should say, is one of the biggest reasons why the immune system gets suppressed. It's one of the biggest contributors to 
illness, even things like cancer, are oftentimes coming from, stemming from dehydration at its core. Okay, so make sure you're hydrated. If you get your sleep and your water down packed right off the bat, not only is your immune system gonna boost massively, but you're also gonna feel better mentally. You're going to feel more productive, more energized. Your mood's gonna be better because your hormones are balanced. And that brings me to the next point, which is the third point, and that's stress management. So stress is arguably the main reason why people get sick with either chronic illnesses or short-term short -term, uh, illnesses like maybe the flu, things of this nature. The reason for this is because stress is a response that's designed and put into our bodies as a fight or flight response, okay? So out in nature, back before we had civilization or whatever the case is, even till today, right? If you go out in the jungle and there's a dangerous animal chasing you, well, that's when stress kicks in as an instinct. It's been built into our bodies. However, it's not meant to last very long, okay? So any animal experiences stress when they're in those types of situations. However, humans have the unique though unfortunate ability to be able to stress ourselves even if there's no danger around us, right? So maybe you can relate to this, you're sitting around and suddenly you're stressed, you've got anxiety, you've got depression, you've got whatever it is, why? Because of the thoughts in your mind that are causing the stress, right? Or maybe expectations or pressure from some something else, whatever it is, the point is, is not only does stress come from just our thoughts because there's no immediate danger, but one, you have control of that, and two, if that stress lasts long periods of time, it puts such unwanted strain on your system, specifically your immune system, because immune system is suppressed temporarily to give more energy to other areas of your body, AKA the extremities, so you can run, fight, flight, or freeze, or whatever the case, right? So if you're constantly stressed, you are trying to slap a Band-Aid onto an open wound by thinking that a meal plan is gonna fix it and get you fit and get you healthy, it's not the case. Better than nothing, but you gotta fix the root of the issue. In this case, would be stress. So sleep and water is a good place to start. Have some stress reducing practices. Meditation is one of the most powerful ones that I've found in my life that has helped many others and they've taken that on as well themselves. So things like meditation or some stress relief, deep breathing practices, whatever it is that you have to do, even if that means you know relaxing, doing something that you love each day or each week, something that's gonna reduce the stress overall because if your stress is high and it's constant, then chronic illness, disease, and suppressed immune system is just a guarantee and a given. The fourth thing is, I mentioned this earlier, alcohol, drugs, things that are going to destroy your body. So alcohol being probably the number one. Of course, any hard drugs, I think we already know how detrimental those are to us, but alcohol, a lot of people are drinking even slightly in excess and frequently throughout the weeks or the months, that's an issue because because alcohol is a direct toxin to the body up to a certain limit. Once you get up to that limit or surpass it, which again, a lot of people do, that's immediately gonna suppress your immune system, not only for that moment and that day, but likely for several days later as your body needs to recover from that toxicity coming in. So alcohol is gonna be one of the biggest ones, especially if you know, oftentimes people get absolutely obliterated one day, and then the next day they're hungover, they get obliterated again. I'm telling you that exact situation is what led to me getting deathly ill multiple multiple times it's not fun so limit the alcohol I'm not saying you got to cut it out entirely but try to limit it and uh, put it in a little bit more moderation if you want to take your health seriously and if you want to avoid getting sick this next one's gonna be probably something that a lot of people don't understand or maybe haven't heard of but mindset is huge more specifically a positive attitude so so it's actually been scientifically proven that fear suppresses the immune system. That's right. If you are worried about getting sick, your chances of actually getting sick exponentially skyrocket. I'll give you an example. When I walk around now, and here's the thing too, it's gonna correlate with the habits you're doing. It's very easy to be scared about getting sick if you know subconsciously you're not doing everything you could or should be when it comes to your health and fitness, right? If you know you're hydrated perfectly all the time, you're sleeping good quality, good amount each night, you're working out vigorously, doing exercise throughout the day, moving around, you've got good stretching, mobility, you're calming, no stress or very little stress, 
does. All of these things combined is gonna give you the confidence and the positive mental attitude to believe in the fact that you're probably not gonna get sick. And it's this exact attitude which comes from, once again, the confidence of knowing you're doing everything right based on the things that we mentioned before this. It's this exact thing that has prevented me from getting ill even though I was shaking the hands of multiple people. I used to be a coach in several studios and there were flu season times where there were several people coughing sick in a tight space and I never got sick once. And I was high-fiving these people, I was shaking their hands. I had the virus and the germs all over me. But because in my mind I said, you know what? I'm not gonna get sick, I'm bulletproof. And you know, sure, maybe it's to my detriment sometimes that I'm a little bit cocky about this, but the reality is, I personally don't see how I can get sick. I feel so confident, strong, energized, powerful, healthy, that it's very difficult to even convince me that getting sick is a possibility. Now, is it? I'm sure it is. However, it's gonna be very, very difficult when you have an immune system as built up and as bulletproof as mine is, and as anybody else out there who's doing the same things I am, which is hitting off and checking each box of all the habits we just discussed to get you in peak performance and in peak immune system function. Now, lastly, I just want to go over some extras, okay? I think we covered the most fundamental aspects that, yeah, it really is that simple. I mean, people don't realize that uh, the immune system and health is just simple. It's not about a secret. Um, everybody knows deep down how to do it, but I want to cover some extra things. Things like certain supplements like vitamins, right? A multivitamin can help. Obviously, vitamin deficiencies will increase your risk of getting sick, a suppressed immune system. So I like to take a multivitamin throughout the day. By the way, vitamins are great, but minerals are just as important. And what I've been taking recently is CMOS gel. I've been actually only eating that for about the last month or so, but uh, I took pills for CMOS gel before that. It was just dried CMOS powder. But the point is, is if you can find these natural herbal types of things, another one will be tea. So I drink herbal teas every single day. Um, you know, green tea, for example, has been shown to have tremendous beneficial effects on the immune system, reducing or eradicating illnesses, free radicals, things of that nature. Obviously, a diet full of antioxidants, right? Fruits, vegetables, healthy, nutrient-dense foods, exercise exercising regularly, all of these things are constantly boosting your immune system, keeping it very, very strong, regardless of your age, okay? My parents follow very similar measures to everything I laid out here ever since me helping them get on that train, and they're in the same boat, and they're approaching 60 years old, and they haven't been sick in years as well. So again, this applies across the board, regardless of age. Another natural remedy that I do wanna give a shout out to is oregano oil. I don't know if you've heard of it, but oregano oil is probably the only quote unquote medicine or the closest thing to medicine that I personally ever would take. And basically it's just a natural oil, okay? And uh, what it does is anytime I feel something in my throat, typically you can feel when something has kind of gotten itself into your body. You start getting a little bit of a throat ache or you know, you start getting a little bit of phlegm or whatever the case is, and the sniffles, things of this nature. I would honestly just grab some oregano oil. I would mix it in with some warm water. I would chug it and it just burns everything out. Just like that, it's like a natural cleanse and it's gone. So obviously that's just the basic stuff, guys. Healthy, nutritious diet fruits, vegetables, plenty of water, sleep, mindset, stress. I mean, is there anything in here that you really didn't know? Is there anything in here that really surprised you? That, that really you're like, this is, this is amazing, this is revolutionary. No, unfortunately, most people in this day and age think that health is a byproduct of a special pill or a special drug or special genetics or an age or a gender or a circumstance. And unfortunately for those individuals, or maybe fortunately, it's none of those things. And in fact, it's things you have full control of, okay? So unless there's a disease going around like the Black Plague, which, just a little hint, nothing even comes close at this moment in time, well, then in that case, you might wanna look out. However, anything other or less deadly than that, Okay, certain things that may be circulating, circulating around, you know, around the time of me making this video uh, can be entirely suppressed and avoided if we boost the immune system. And by doing the things that I mentioned here, by the way, and improving your health and fitness, things like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all of these things will be reduced. So any sort of immunocompromised individuals due to factors of which come from habits that they can control, if that's fixed, 
then you're only elongating your life. You're gonna have more energy, feel more confident, feel healthy, feel great. And that way you can enjoy every single day of your life more than you ever imagined, right? If you walk around confident that you'll never get sick or that your immune system is just bulletproof, deservedly so, then I promise you, your life is gonna be pretty fun, pretty amazing, and you'll have all the energy you need to do the things that you love in it. So with that said, I hope that you found this video helpful. Like I mentioned earlier, a little bit of a departure from my typical content. I hope that you found some nuggets in here or at least maybe the drive and motivation to apply these things to your life because so far I'm on a five year streak of not getting sick and you bet your ass I'm going for 10, okay? In fact, if anybody wants some sort of cure, you might wanna get it from my blood, okay? Well, I'm just playing, kind of, sort of, not really. Guys, if you want a free video training on some of the key things that you need to do, four key things to lose body fat predictably, consistently, and sustainably, while gaining or building muscle, improving energy, reducing hunger, and improving confidence, make sure you click the free training link down in the description below. Follow me on Instagram, send me a DM there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know any other topics and what you thought of this topic down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.